Let's look at the text button in Cricut Design Space. When you click text right here, you'll see a little box that pops up. Now I can type text right in there. So now that I have that text image in there, I can change the height of it and the width of it by using that size button. I can rotate it. And this is the unlock. So if I want to make it disproportional and stretch it out. But I don't want to do any of that, so I'm going to undo. Okay. So now I made all of this with text. I can slide it up here so we can play around with this one a little bit more. Other things you can do with text. You'll see when you click on it, it turns on some of these different buttons up here. Over here is the font. So any font that's in here, I can use and when I click on it. It literally will just change the font. So then if I want to filter by either all the fonts in there or system fonts, those might be things you downloaded and put on your computer or just Cricut related fonts or over here, I can search by just my fonts that I own. So then it won't show me anything that I have to pay for. So now I click on that and it changes the font. Ooh, that is not a pretty font for this example. So let's change it. So it's as easy as that to just change it around. Then you can change between regular, bold, italic. Up here, you can change the color of the font. And we can also change the font size up here if we wanted to do that. I personally like to just drag with my little arrow to change the font size. But say you know you want your text to be two inches tall. I can go up here and put a two in there, the height, and it's going to make it proportionally the right width. But say I don't want my letters that far apart. I can play with my letter spacing here. And see how it's squishing them closer together? Um, or I could curve my text. And I could rotate it up here, but I don't know. Well, now if I wanted to ungroup the letters, I could click on that, and that would let me move each individual letter around separately. Now when you're choosing a font to use with your text, make sure you're deciding before you even get started if you're doing a cutting image or a writing image. And if I go over here and say I wanted to do this as writing on a card, I go to switch to my fonts and have the writing filter on. And now when I click a font, my computer's being a little slow, so hold on while that changes into my new font. There it goes. You can see that a skinnier line, and over here it says draw, so that means it's going to ask me to insert my Cricut pen. Now this text is, says cut, so that's going to cut out these nice thick letters. Majority of your writing fonts are going to be a thin font like this because the black line is literally where the pen is going to go. So let me just do this. What if we went to the writing, oops, writing font filter off. Save that three times fast. Clear filters. 
let's do this one. And oh, it is already bought. Okay, let's go back to this one. If I go up here, I can change from draw to cut. And it's saying it wants to print and cut because it's skinny line. But what if I tell it I just want to cut it with, with no fill? Come on. Why is my little pull down being fussy for me today? I'm doing a demo, that's why. So let's just type in text again. And the other nice thing is if you forget what text you're using, if you insert a new text, it'll go to the same text as before. So then you can remember what you're using. So no fill. Now it's a cut, or not, sorry, it's still reading. Find one that I know is a, a cutting point. There we go. Okay, so some people have tried this and said, well, I want this, but I wanted to write it. And they've tried going from here and change it to draw. And they said, well, wait, I want it all filled in. You can't do that because it's going to literally draw the outline. You could draw, have the Cricut draw the outline and then color it in by hand. But at the time of this recording, I don't know of a, a font that will basically color in the letters for you. I hope that helped you to learn a little bit more about using your fonts and your text button. Thanks.